Hello again. So welcome to Shirley Show. We are going to be talking about this tarantula I bought at Josh's Frogs. So I go to the Scott's All Animal Expo <clears throat> in my local area. Josh's Frogs is also a website. They joshesfrogs.com. Um, but they come to different expos and they vend. And I wanted to point out some really fun things about just the way that they've packaged their um, sling. Now, something that I already did was I already took off this black tape, so I put it back on for effect for you. But let me go ahead and get us in a better position one second. All right, I guess we're going to have to do it this way because I couldn't get a better height from somewhere else. So what they do is they have, uh, I wanted both hands, they have the um, electrical tape that they use to seal the container closed. It's got the nice holes in the top, obviously, and I bought this at an expo, so it didn't get mailed to me, but I assume that when they're shipping it, it's nicely packed, and so it tells you I don't want to tip him too much. You can see my little dude in there. Oh, he's on the side. Okay, we can give him a little tip here. So you can see my little dude in there. This is um, a P. muranus, also known as the OBT. Um, orange baboon tarantula, a lot of people call it orange bitey thing. So just picked up one of these today. And <clears throat> something I really like about it, well, first of all, I think their logo is like really, really super cute. But um, something I really like about this is that it's not only telling you, you know, what baboon you have or what tarantula you have, what the um, scientific name for it is. And it's printed out on these nice labels prices right there. It's also telling you when it last molted and when it was last fed. So this is really nice for me to know that this tarantula molted at the very beginning of January. So I should expect the molt sometime between, I'd say mid-March and early April, which is nice that I know that. And then I also know when it was fed. So it was fed on the 7th, Today is the 12th, so I know that we're coming up on feeding time again, which is perfect. I also like that even for this price, it's a decent size sling. It's about probably the size of my thumbnail, and most of the time when I'm paying $25 for a sling, um, they're a fair bit smaller than this. I'd say that they're probably closer. This is like a three-quarter inch maybe. And I'd say usually they're about a quarter inch, maybe half inch um, at this price typically, which is also something nice. It's a little bit bigger for the price. And also seems really nice and healthy. The only thing I will say is that they charge tax at the expo, which I thought was kind of odd because most of the vendors at the expos do not charge tax. And I don't want to open this up and show you you know, like that, because I just don't want to be dealing with a baboon running around on my hand. And we're getting close to rehouse, so I've got everything set up. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what I've got for that. So, let me pause for a moment. Ta-da! All right, so here's little dude hanging out in the back there. And then this is his new home. So I put uh, cross ventilation. I picked these up at Michael's, by the way. They're a dollar. Um, and they're a great um, acrylic because you can see through them. That's my favorite thing about them is that they're not that frosty acrylic you can't see through. I use a wood burning tool to just poke holes. And then I give it aerial and uh, cross ventilation just to make sure that nothing's getting moldy. Um, for this guy, I set up a nice little, let me get my, um, let me get a pen to use as a pointer here. Okay, so I set up a little like little cave down here. Got a spot I can go into, but I also threw some leaf litter down. I've got some sphagnum moss, which I'm gonna wet pretty soon. And miss this whole enclosure. I can actually do that right now. I've been meaning to do that. So gonna give it like a quick little mist. I want to make sure I hit that sphagnum moss real good because that's what's gonna be holding in all the humidity for this little one. And I'm not gonna do this too often. This is just the initial spray. 
the species doesn't need it that wet all the time. So yeah, this is little dude and his new home. And this is my review of Josh's frogs. I highly recommend buying from them. Um, Austin, I believe, is the contact. So, and he was super knowledgeable. He was great to talk to. And he seems to have a lot of experience. So definitely get something from them. Um, check them out. Check out their website. They got a great selection. Um, they didn't have a whole lot with them at the expo, but if you're at the website, they got way more of a selection. And this is not a sponsored video. This is just a happy customer. All right. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Little Shirley, signing off.